Throughout history, numerous events have shaped the course of civilization, ranging from great discoveries to grand battles. However, among these significant moments, there have been instances where a simple bodily function unexpectedly took center stage. Farts, often seen as humorous or embarrassing, have occasionally played a surprising role in altering the course of history. In this video, we will explore six such instances where flatulence made an impact on historical events and left an indelible mark on human memory. But first, smack the devil out of the subscribe button so you will never miss out on another historical adventure. But now, back to business. Number one, the wind that saved Rome. Legend has it that in 455 AD, the city of Rome faced imminent destruction at the hands of the Vandals, led by King Genseric. During the siege, the Roman diplomat Leo I sought to negotiate with the invaders. It is said that as Leo rose to speak, he inadvertently released a loud and thunderous fart. Shocked and amused, the Vandals interpreted this as an omen, believing it to be the sound of Jupiter, the Roman god, showing his disapproval. Consequently, they decided to spare the city and withdraw their forces, saving Rome from complete devastation. Number two, flatulence in the court of Louis XIV. Louis XIV, known as the Sun King, was a prominent figure in French history. It is said that during a meeting of the royal court, one of Louis's courtiers, Jean-Baptiste Lully, accidentally struck his foot with a heavy conducting staff. In intense pain, Lully let out a loud fart. Surprisingly, rather than reacting angrily, Louis burst into laughter, diffusing the tension in the room. This moment of levity had a lasting impact on the court, illustrating the king's ability to find humor in unexpected circumstances and fostering a more relaxed atmosphere in his court. Number three, the flatulent feast. In 1901, King Edward VII of the United Kingdom hosted a state banquet. Among the esteemed guests was the Crown Prince of Germany, Wilhelm II. As the meal progressed, an unfortunate combination of rich food and excessive wine consumption led to a series of uncontrollable farts from the Crown Prince. Despite the embarrassment, the jovial reaction of King Edward helped ease the tension and prevented a diplomatic incident. The incident fostered a more relaxed atmosphere between the two countries, helping to strengthen diplomatic ties. Number four, Joseph Pujol, the Fartiste. In the late 19th century, Joseph Pujol, known as Le Petoman, gained fame for his unique talent of controlling and manipulating his flatulence. Pujol's performances, which included musical renditions, drew huge crowds and made him a celebrated figure of the time. His comedic acts challenged the social norms of the era, breaking down barriers and sparking conversations about the acceptance of bodily functions in public spaces. Number five, the flatulent vote. In 2013, during a parliamentary debate in Venezuela, a member of the National Assembly, José Rafael Cordero, interrupted proceedings by farting loudly. While initially seen as a humorous incident, it became symbolic of the deep-rooted divisions within the Assembly. The incident highlighted the polarization within Venezuelan politics, with supporters and opponents using it as a weapon in their ongoing verbal battles. Number six, the farting horse. In 1858, the British Army faced a significant challenge during the Indian Rebellion of 1857 when they had to transport horses across a narrow bridge. However, one horse named Jack developed stage fright and refused to cross. After hours of failed attempts, one soldier had a novel idea. He fed the horse beans, causing it to pass gas, and successfully crossed the bridge amid laughter and applause from the troops. This creative solution not only improved morale, but also enabled the army to overcome a crucial obstacle in their mission. Well, those events sure knocked the wind out of me. Hope you enjoyed that as much as me. Thanks for watching.